welcome to Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okechuku. And now we bring you a lowdown of how the markets performed at the close of trading Wednesday, the 10th of November. Midweek trading in the Nigerian equities market ended on a bearish note as the NGX All Share Index fell 0.05% to 43,707.30 basis points. Topping the gainers list is Nimet Pharmaceuticals at 10%. Followed by Shams PLC at 9.09%, Mojo Benefits was up 8%, Honeywell Flower Mill up 6.95%, and Cavatin Offshore was also up 5.88%. On the flip side, Red Star Express lost 9.86%, Pharma Deco down 9.83%, FTM's Overcooked Processors was down 9.09%, ABC Trans was also down 9.09%. While cheap PLC was also down 8.33%. Meanwhile, NDS Group declined 3.65% to close at 18 naira 50 copper per unit, with a total of 4.591 million shares traded in 108 deals worth 86.319 million naira. At the NASD OTC market, a total volume of 56,600 shares were recorded, valued at 971,850 naira as the NSI rose marginally by 0.01% to 752.73 basis points. At the FMDQ Securities Exchange, a total of 76.259 billion naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and OMO papers were traded on the platform. While at the I&E window, the naira appreciated by 0.08% to trade at 414 naira 73 copper per dollar. At an intraday high of 444 naira, and a low of 404 naira to the USD. Open buyback rates fell further by 1.17% to 1.50%. Now to the market's news. The Securities and Exchange Commission is set to hold the final Capital Markets Committee meeting tomorrow, November 11. Central Bank of Nigeria blames the importation of wheat for foreign exchange crisis. The NGX is set to host the fourth retail investors workshop on November 16th. FTM Coco Processors is offering 1.7 billion ordinary shares via rights issue to shareholders. And that'll be all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. Do join us again tomorrow. I'm Justina Okechubu. Bye for now.